As part of our testing series, we wanted to give you a little insight into some of the other things that we do. Um, so today we're going to look at how we repair a custom hearing aid. Okay, sorry. Okay. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Squires. And I'm Dr. Carly Squires. This is Dr. Squire Squared. This is a channel where we have candid and casual conversations about anything and everything audiology. And if you don't have any idea what we're talking about, then make sure to stick around. Like, subscribe to the channel. We're going to tell you everything we know. Okay, so like Michael said, today we're going to give you some rare footage into what it's like to repair a custom hearing aid. So we had a patient uh, just so happened to come in today with a hearing aid split right in two. So we're, we took some video footage, we're going to talk about what we did and just give you a little bit of insight on how that process is. So if you or somebody that you know has a broken hearing aid, you can bring it on down and we'll take a look at it, see if we can repair it for you. Right. The nice thing about this is it gives uh, patients an extra option. This mm -hmm. particular patient's hearing aids were um, long out of warranty. Mm -hmm. The manufacturers would have required her to buy a new hearing aid. So it turns uh, a several thousand dollar investment into a 50 to $75 fix. Mm -hmm. So this is how we repair a custom hearing aid. All right, you can actually see here that there's a fine crack that runs all the way around the hearing aid. Uh, this patient um, may have dropped her hearing aid, and, and here in a second you'll see that faceplate actually lifts completely away uh, from the hearing aid itself. So we're going to have um, a little extra repair on that one. So what we'll do first and foremost is we uh, just take a little bit of uh, instant adhesive. It's, it's uh, basically a super glue. And we'll take that super glue and just hold the face plate in, uh, in place to keep it from moving while we're doing the rest of the repair. Once we get the rest of the repair um, onto this hearing aid, the face plate will be permanently adhered to the rest of the hearing aid. Um, but that little bit of adhesive just keeps everything uh, in place while we're doing that. What you're seeing here is um, I'm just running a burr uh, bit along that crack. And we'll do this all the way around the hearing aid as, as far as the crack extends. Um, if that crack were to kind of terminate in the middle of the hearing aid, I would just extend that out a little bit. We'll end up flooding this um, little crack or groove that we're creating here. Um, with an adhesive and that will all disappear. But we want to just give a good solid um, base for our adhesive to sit in so that it's a more of a permanent repair and not just superficial. And then you can see that we'll just go ahead and extend that all the way around the hearing aid itself. And you can see here that I'm just feeling around that faceplate to see if that crack uh, extends where, where you can't really see it, but, but where it still might be there. Um, and I, I can just kind of check this with my finger now just to make sure that that um, actually is there. We don't want to add anything that we don't need to, but we also don't want to miss any parts of that crack um, because that gives an opportunity for it to open back up at a later time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch our burr out for um, like a file bit. This is going to be used to rough up the exterior surface of the hearing aid. What we'll do now is just give uh, the, the adhesive in the clear coat something to grab onto. So I'll extend that groove that we just made uh, and just rough up the, the overall surface of, of the area that we're going to be filling. And then uh, ultimately I'll end up just roughing up the entire surface of the hearing aid because then I'll replace the clear coat on this uh, hearing aid after the repair is completed.
All right, so while I was cleaning this off here, I realized that that faceplate had, had kind of separated again and, and needed to be adhered back into place um, while we're gonna finish the rest of this repair. So you can see, um, I'm just slightly pulling that faceplate back um, just a little bit so that we can sneak that uh, instant adhesive in there. Just a little tiny bit will do just to hold everything in place while we're finishing the rest of that repair. Now that we've got that faceplate uh, adhered down and all of the instant glue is dried and we've cleaned up that area again with that little file bit, you'll see that I've turned my UV light on. Um, this is just a commercial UV light you can get anywhere, but the, the adhesive that we're going to be using is a UV cured acrylic type material. Um, this comes in different shades or hues or colors. The one that we're going to be using on this one is going to be a beige tone so that it blends everything in. So what you'll see is I'm going to start flooding that little crack with a little syringe that is containing that uh, UV adhesive. So I'll spread that adhesive out, um, filling the little crack first, and then you'll see that I'll drag that adhesive over top of the roughed up areas uh, here in just a second. All right, so I'll turn that syringe sideways and start just dragging that material over top of that roughed up area. What this will do is it allows, it's almost like a, a footer on a building. It, uh, it allows the, the material that's down in that crack to be anchored to the body of the hearing aid so that that faceplate can't pull away, easily anyway, can't pull away from um, that repair. So I'll just continue to pull that out and over the top filling in wherever needs to be filled in. And then we'll go ahead and put that in the UV uh, light or a little UV oven to bake for just a couple seconds. It doesn't take very long here. We got a, a nice zoom in. <laughs> Carly's zoomed in on our, on our light there. Okay. So we'll pull back and then we'll finish the other half uh, of the repair. All right, so the other side is done, and we will stick that back in and let it bake um, for just a couple minutes. All right, fast forward, we pulled the uh, hearing aid out of the UV oven here. All I am doing now is just smoothing out the layer of the UV adhesive that we put in. By this time, it's already baked, it's already hardened, it is essentially one with the acrylic shell of the hearing aid. So I'm going to smooth out all of the raised places here and just make sure that the entire hearing aid is uh, feels like one continuous piece as opposed to having any type of ridges or gaps. Okay, you saw me remove the black piece of tape there. We're just covering up the manufacturer and serial number. Um, we're trying to protect patient information there. Um, we're zoomed back in in hyperspeed, so I don't think it'll be an issue at this point. So what you're looking at is I am just removing the 
entire protective clear coat from the entire hearing aid. This is going to include the top layer of the repair that I just did. This will make the entire outside of the hearing aid feel like one piece. Um, and then I will restore that clear coat here in just a moment. What we're trying to do is protect any anatomical um, structures or anything like that so that the hearing aid still has good retention and feels like it did before the repair, um, but also not adding anything new so that the patient isn't uncomfortable when they're wearing the device. All right, so you're watching me grab my clear coat there. It paints on just like nail polish. It is a very hard outside clear covering and I'm just going to be very careful in how I apply this so that it doesn't leave a really thick layer or a layer that's too thin. We want everything to be really uniform so that it um, feels like the original clear coat and the original fit of the hearing aid. This part can be a little bit painstaking. Um, and I'm sure it's really interesting to watch, but you can see me kind of fast forward going through and using um, some utensils here. That's just a, a pair of forceps or a pair of tweezers to try to hold that hearing aid up so that I can keep my fingerprints out of it. Like I said, I take a lot of time in this last clear coat just because we don't want extra bumps or, or ridges or anything like that. We want it to be all one really smooth last step. Okay, back to real time. Got a nice smooth little final coat on there. We're gonna pop it in the oven for about five minutes. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for sticking in there and watching this process. Um, we enjoyed doing it, and hopefully you enjoyed watching and learning a little bit. It's kind of hard to do it with, uh, you know, holding it, the camera with one hand and doing everything with the other hand and looking over each other's shoulder, but uh, here you can see our final product with um, a hearing aid that looks like it did when it first came from the manufacturer. Oh my heavens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we hope you enjoyed our video today about how we repaired a patient's custom hearing aid. If you have questions about this process or want to see more videos like this or have any questions, like this video, share it, send us a comment, email us info at hearwv.com or give us a call at our office. That's 304-428-2403. Till next time. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.